Hello, and you're welcome back again to St. Gerard's Redemptorist House in Belfast on the Antrim Road, overlooking Belfast Lock, and with the Great Cave Hill behind us, where it is said that the United Irishmen at the end of the 18th century took the oath that led to the rising of 1798. Uh, I'm talking to you about some of the devotions that entered the Catholic bloodstream, especially during times of plague and epidemic and, uh, and, and so forth. There were great epidemics all through history. One of the most serious ones that occurred in the 14th century was known as the Black Death. It was a terrible illness that first showed itself in Istanbul or Constantinople and then began to spread in a few months up through the rest of Europe. One of the devotions that came out of that time was devotion to our Blessed Lady under the form of what we call the Pieta. That is the figure of Our Lady with her dead son draped across her knees, waiting for his burial. I think one of the reasons why that image became so potent in the Catholic memory was that so many mothers at that time had nursed dead children, had taken their children on their knees before they were brought away to be buried, either as infants or as young men and young women. Mother was there looking after them. And this great statue, this form of the statue of Our Lady with her child on her knees becomes part and parcel of Catholic devotion. The great exemplar of it, of course, that you all know, is the one by Michelangelo that is in the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome, the Vatican Basilica. But there are many of them, especially in parts of Germany and places in Central Europe, often carved in wood, and often very beautifully coloured. It's a reminder of that terrible time, and the terrible time in which devotion to Our Lady as the Mother of Sorrows, as the mother who also knows what, what it is like to lose a child, either as a baby or as a teenager, as a young man or woman on the verge of adulthood. And out of that devotion to Our Lady arose that great prayer that was used as a hymn in the Mass of Our Lady of Sorrows, the Stabat Mater. We often say one of the verses of it as we make our way around to the cross. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart is wound renew of my Saviour crucified. Amen. God be, God be with you today.